What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we're going to add structural walls to the interior and exterior surfaces of our stairways here located on our uh, southeast and northeast corners of our building. Okay, so but before that, so we need to use the AutoCAD drawing that we have linked last time. So if you remember, we have Link and AutoCAD drawing as our guide for us to be able to create the, the grids. So now we need to use that and we need to turn on the visibility of that. Okay, so to do that, so we need to open the visibility graphic overrides. So you can type VV, so that's the shortcut, or from our view properties, you can select the visibility graphics override here so you click the edit and then you go to the imported categories so you will notice here this is your uh, AutoCAD drawing so this is the one that we have turned off so you just need to check the visibility so select OK and there you go so we will be using this as our guide so we are going to create here the exterior wall and then the interior wall on our northeast area also on our uh, southeast stairways here okay so let's get this thing started so from the structure tab so i'm going to select here structural wall so you click that and then okay so for this type i will be using here uh generic so i will be using the generic eight inches so this is the one that i'll be using for the interior okay so i'll just select generic eight inches and then after that i'm gonna specify here the justification of my uh, wall so instead of wall center line i want that to start or I want the justification of my wall will going to be on the finish face exterior part of the wall. So I'm going to select this. And again, depth is selected here. So from 0 to floor going down to 0, 1 entry. So for this one, I will be using uh, this line tool to create the structural wall. So I select that one. And then after that, I'm going to pick here. And I'm going to pick all the way here. And there you go. And then after that, just select modify to terminate your model. Now for this wall here, we are going to use different type of structural wall. So let's select again our structural wall. And for that one, I will be using here a generic 12 inches masonry. So let's select this one. And then again, um, same settings, depth, uh, 0, 1, and 3, finish face exterior. But let's try to use the other way of creating the, the wall here. So I'll be using pick lines. So you click that one. And then after that, we are going to pick our line here, the exterior part of this wall here. So you click and there you go. Okay, so we're finished with our uh, southeast and don't terminate yet your wall because we will be using it here as well. So I'm gonna pick here like that. Okay, and then we need to extend that. You see that blue dot? So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to drag that all the way here. Okay, and then after that, while your tool is still active so just terminate that select modify to terminate so i'm going to select again the structural wall and then let's select our uh generic eight inches okay or you can also do this way okay you can click this wall so let's say for example this is the same type that you would like to create again so instead of going to the structural wall and selecting again the same type so you can click the wall that you have created or any other element that you already created in your project so you can click and then after that you right click 
and then you can see the option here create similar okay so you click create similar and then you are now on the wall tool and ready to place your uh, generic 8 inches uh, wall so I'll be using the line tool same settings okay and then I'm going to uh, pick here and then I'm going to place it here there you go and then select modify and that's it so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh, see that in the 3d view so let's click the icon here default 3d view and there you go okay so you can just like your column you can also specify here by the way I think the wall here is not extended so going back to my floor plan I'm going to drag this all the way down here there you go okay so going back to my 3d view so just like your column you can also specify here if you click you can also specify the base constraint base offset top constraint and top offset okay but this is the setting that we would like so we would like our walls to be extended so we want that to be from 0 1 entry level base constraint and then the base offset is 0 and then the top constraint is up to second level 0 uh, top offset top constraint is 0 to level okay so let's select this one just to check just to make sure okay so it's correct okay so let's go to the other walls here so it's correct zero one entry level up to level zero two okay right so basically that's how you um place your walls it's not that difficult so again if you want to have a separated 3d view for your walls so you can select the walls hold control and then select the other walls and then you can select here selection box just like that okay so again hopefully you learn something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below have a nice day